phone, the keys, the money. Your butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you do that all the time. Why should I be concerned? <laughs> Well, that's going on the blooper reel, folks. And now, our feature presentation. program. Yeah. Hi, welcome one of all tonight, 541 of Fashion R. As you see on Discord, I've got Eugene, Jay, and Hunter. Our um, will be coming in tonight as the night episode goes on. On tonight's lineups, we've got our 47th game one of Wheel Second Edition for the PC. Episode 4 on our Asnar Challenge of High Stakes. And we're doing one, two games of Clue. Steam PC. So this is going to be a fun night episode. And speaking of fun, we got our Word of the Week. Since Chap is not here, he's putting me on uh, Word of the Week duties today. Uh, Jay? Where is it? Here it is. The priest selected one of the is. The word the week is. Oops, war. Which chap is described as every pointless war the United States has fought since the end of World War II. This is the second time I've said that. I believe I cut out the first time. Yes, it was. And he does have a point about that definition. Uh, let me see in a dictionary. Yeah. Ah, but the origin of it. Eugene? Oh yeah, this was on your end for Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. 95 for the PC. It came out when the computer player rung in, and they put, Oops! <laughs> and, then, and then you said, The Oops War? No, that was... Well, the correct response was, What is the Trojan War? Not the Trojan War. Yeah. And then, and then I was losing it. <laughs> the Oops War. And I still can't get over it now. It will be uploaded. Around tomorrow.
But, um, just before that, um, yeah, we got, um, a bit of a bad news. Talk about in memoriams, I bet. Yep. Yep, we just found out about this yesterday. And then we found out about this yesterday. Uh, ra uh, if, mo uh, if people have heard the song Just a Friend by the rapper Biz Markie, Biz Markie is, well, he, just, he died yesterday at the age of 57 after complications of diabetes. So, that's not only, only that, he also was the, the guy who gave us beatboxing les, uh, lessons on Yo Gabba Gabba. Oh yeah, it's true. Ah, but he was also on the Dougie Fresh hit song, Let Me Clear My Throat. But he was not the only one. That was just that was just one. Wabbit Downey Senior. Not the junior, the senior passed away. His famous son, Wabbit Downey Junior, confirmed it on the time of his death. Mm-hmm. Of his father's death. Yep. So, to all these guys, well, to the two guys who we lost, we salute you. And we're gonna miss you. But since, actually, we thought, well, we might do a moment of science, but I'm like, press for time because we are going to get to our tonight's festivities which is real high stakes and clue we want to get to clue before jay's bedtime <laughs> once again the salute and we're gonna miss you anyways business ahead when we come back 47th game one how long can we still go with real second edition who knows that is when we get back welcome back to astronaut right now this is our game show segment in which this is our 47th Game 1 of Wheel of Fortune 2nd Edition for the PC. So far in 46 games. Are you ready for this total? Hi folks, I'm Charlie O'Donnell. We'll get to our game in a second. Drumroll, please. Two million, two hundred, forty-four thousand, seven hundred, thirty-four dollars. Jesus Christ, we are nearly at two and a half million, no, no, right, two and a quarter million dollars. Hmm. Holy cow. I want to see how far we could go. Okay, so how many people out there? You can play a game with a time limit or a game with a fixed number of rounds. Player one. 41, 42, 43. 44, 45, 46. 
Ask cars. Y7. From the Sony Picture Studios, Chatbox America's uh -oh. <laughs> The only way we'll see that is. Uh, wow, okay. It's very, very true. That's true. Because we know the tennis court is 8985, add a 50 of 35. 35 plus 34 equals. 69. Okay. Yeah, the problem with fast food is some people think we sell potato wedges. Uh, we're not a Kentucky Fried Chicken store. It's Arby's. Arby's. Arby's has the meat. Kentucky Fried Chicken is finger licking good. There is a tea. Yeah, and besides, the only potatoes we have are the crinkle fries and the curly fries. Uh. Dib. Oh, I'll spin, Vanna. Back to playing a back to back championship? W I N N I N G. N N A. Back to back. That's it. I'm fairly Champions. certain he's right. Yep. He's right. Says you're I. Decole. Decole. I'd like to spin, please. Imagine that on a Wii version. S. Just the one S. I'm gonna buy a vowel. Here he goes. I'll try an A, please. Yes, four, four. together. Excellent. I'd like to buy another vowel. Oh. I'd like an O, please. Uh huh. Two O's. I'll spin the wheel. Oh, Says you right, but head. And Tim's got three hundred dollars. Uh, e? E for bad, never mind. Two Ks, actually. Try C. There are three of them. That's what I was trying to get to. Good guess. There are three. There we go. That's why I was trying to get this like kitten that sea. Come on. If it's 900 or 1,000 coal. Ooh. Uh, B for Ben. Two B's up there. Let's see them. If it's a thousand, I'll. H. And actually. Fair enough. Four ends in fact. With four ends, I take it one hundred. Come on. G. Just the one W. W. Come on, H. Okay. M. G. Where is it? G. Oh, wait a minute, the H's and P's are multiple. <gasps> ah! Oh, lose a turn. Too bad. Oh. Maybe I it's should have. Turn, player two. Well, spin, I can't get... $900. There's no R. Give me an R, Vanna. Crampionship? So do I, Beavers. I'll spin, Vanna. Alright, give me a big one. 
Did you say beavers? Let's see. How about an H, Fanta? You fucker. There are two H's. Well, you forgot there are two P's. Oh yeah, but there's no U. E. No, E's next, and it's not there either. Cause you picked it, numbskull! I'm not the bother, leave me alone, you bastard! Oh. No! Ooh, that was so close. Bad luck. Not to save on your throat, I growled. Wheel has to be a total. Three hundred dollars. Can do one M. I'm gonna spin. A thousand P call. I uh, saw it. Six hundred dollars. Ben, what the hell's a P cola? P cola. <laughs> You wanna fess something? What? You're up, player three. You wanna fess up or something? No. I'm gonna go with the U. You suck. You fail. Player one. Oh, you fail now. Pebble says I didn't love that. I'll take a P. A couple of P's. Well, that sound means that all remaining letters. Are Winning a back to back championship. Way to go. Oh, my God. That wheel is. You did it. That wheel is spiteful again. That's it for this round. But they're gonna solve big, then we're gonna be in trouble. You're hot today, I... player one. I know, white pebbles. Next round, yeah. Up. On to the next puzzle. We've got a prize on the wheel this time, Charlie. Tell us about it. Oh, start spreading the news. It's an all expense paid romantic weekend to spectacular New York City. What do you think, Pebbles? Yeah. This time I would. the category is Bing. A can of soda? Player two goes That's first. what I'm probably okay. thinking. I'll spin the wheel. Says you right, dickhead. Could be a box of wine. I'll spin, box of wine, can of soda. Cup of wine, cup of soda. Eight hundred dollars. I'd like an L, please, Vanna. You know what? There are no L's. Sorry. Don't. Player one. You know what? No harm, no foul. What, what are you doing? doing? Are you really? Where to God? Wait a minute. Sorry, that's not. No, quite but it enough. does fit. Have to move to the next player. Oh, a cup of soup. Player two, you're up. I just I know. I think I Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure about that, though? Are you 100 positive? And that would have been the bankrupt too. The thing is, though, that what you're what you're saying is a food and drink, right? Yeah, but it's also a thing. Category is a thing. Remember, food drink does exist till later in the 2000s. Yeah. So that could be possible. Oh, it's not. No, sorry. No it's not soup. It's not soda. 
A bag of player one, good luck. Wow. Here's if I can know this puzzle before you do. Finn, brought to you by free spin condoms. There's your F. Well, I got my condom. Here's your free spin. Yeah, you do. Now go <laughs> fuck yourself. Like, yeah, you do. Now go fuck yourself. You uh, thing's fucked. Come on, get something good, please. Yes, there is an R. There's your R. Oh, okay. A can of beer? You know what? Are you. I think that could be it. Well, $600. we'll find out. Am I in a puzzle? Can do. One B. You what? are. And guess what it is, too. Oh, Ooh, so close. 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 Go with an close. N. Whoa. There are no C's. Too it's bad. not a K. A blank of beer. Would you like a to sip? use your free spin? No, shit. I'm on a free spin though. So you want to use it? Buy an A. I would. Yeah, buy an A. To be safe. Yes, there's one A. Buy an E. It's a keg of beer. It's a keg of beer. No keg. Or is it? Or it could be keg. No, uh, yeah, mug. It's mug. Mug, mug, mug. mug. Can do. One M. Yep. Alright, one mug of beer. Two, you know what it is. Go. And it is 700. G. Only one G. A mug of beer. Alright. Mug of beer. I can't. I can't a soda, a cup of soup? Oh, that does fit. All right, there you go. That all fit, but a mug of beer. Let's see how you're doing after this. And now you know this game has multiple ways you can ever think of. One, it has a low scoring game too, two thousand two fifty. Anyway, but that's all going to change because round three is a jackpot <laughs> round. All right, it's the jackpot round. We'll start off with five thousand dollars and increase that amount with every spin of the wheel. Good luck. We've got a prize on the wheel this time, Charlie. Tell us about it. Come on in. The water's fine. How appropriate for this time of year. <laughs> Nearly ten thousand. This time, the category is phrase. Star and roll. Really? Tom Hanks is Forrest Gump? Player three, oh my god. I think it is. I'll spin the wheel. Oh, that would have been a surprise. L. No, sorry. No L's. If we were playing the PlayStation version, yeah. Over to you. Four hundred dollars. One G. Where is it? Guess what? Where's the jackpot when you need it? Three hundred dollars. Hey. There are two M's. Okay, I don't know. Yep, guess what? What's the jackpot? That's not the jackpot! Oh no, what a shame! Fuck. It's your turn, player two. I'll spin the wheel. It is Tom Hanks as Forrest Gump. Oh no. S. Good guess. There are three. Bitch, she's going to solve this. We're fucked. Jackpot. It's impossible. It's all yours. 
Oh my! A single in up there. Jack five is at sixty nine An A? Yes, we have two A's for you. I'd like to buy another vowel, please. I'll try an O. Uh huh. Two O's. Let's give this baby a spin. Come on. Mansion down on the Wii. Uh. I would like an R. We have Thank you, Team uh, I think it's time to purchase There's a E. I'd like an E, please, Vanna. Yes, one E. Show us where. I'd like to buy another vowel. There's a U, no I. A U? One U. All the vowels are now gone. I'll spin. That jackpot is growing. Nine hundred dollars. I will try T. A pair of T's. I'll spin. Yeah, I should take the milk poles. Nine again. Nine hundred dollars. H. Yes, there is an H. I'd like to spin the wheel. $300. KFP. I would like a W, please, Vanna. Tom Hanks says, Whoa, it's gone? W? No, sorry. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> I do. It's not the Let's oh. give this a spin. Uh, oh. Is there a C, Vanna? You dumb bitch. Sorry, no C's. But look at this jackpot. It's at nearly 14,000. Okay. $900. F. Just the one F. Fourteen two. Look at this. A jackpot. Oh my. Fourteen six. K. One K. Where is? Let's see. If we get that glitch again. What a prize. Okay. Oh, that would have been nice if it was older. One P. Where is it? Tom Hanks says for us, Yeah, as in the 98 version, that jackpot would have been Howard. Oh my god. Let's check out how all the players are doing after this round. Oh my god. 3850, this is still a low score game. Another round. We've got a prize on the wheel this time, Charlie. Give us Tell a us swimming pool it. again. Start spreading the news. It's an all-expense-paid romantic weekend to spectacular New York City. A $5,680 value. This time, the category is... The 60s. Really? This is a good one. Okay, start things off. You get us going, player one. Uh. You have two choices. Spin the wheel or solve the puzzle. And I'd rather we spin. Fuck. Oh well, at least you didn't lose too much. Ah, that's real. Player it is. Two, Being a bitch. Seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. I'll try an L. We have a total of two. two L's. I would like to buy a vowel, please. 
Here she goes. I will try a three. There are three in this puzzle. I'd like to buy another vowel, please. An O. No. O's. No. Says you wipe on head. Five hundred and fifty dollars. Let's see, uh, I'll try an S, please. One S. I'm gonna buy a vowel. I'm looking for an E. Three. Eagle has landed. Yep. $400. N. A single N up there. I'll spin, Vanna. $400. Gotta be an R. There's no R. Now the remaining is multiple, and that's one of them, and that's two. There are two H's. Two H's and two D's. And believe it or not, snakes actually have two D's. The so eagle has landed. And you get a prize out of it too. Enter to New York City. At least Robo's gonna be happy it's gonna end with 64. Ooh, that's for certain. That's it! Great! Speaking of Robo, hopefully he can come in so that we can get the episode set. I mean, he's this supposed way. to come in. Yeah, he's supposed to come in soon. Yeah. But we need five more dollars to make it happen. Oh, never mind! Well, now we got back to the five figure amount. Where was this in the last category. round? Phrase. All we need is five more dollars for the dirty number. Well, yay! This time, player two goes first. Okay. Here oh, I've got that now. Speed ups, huh? Let's give this baby a spin. Just remember, this is five rounds. This is five rounds. Nine hundred. No way. You're up, player three. Let's give this a spin. Come on, show me the big money. <laughs> oh, don't I can go that high? Come on, S. <clears throat> nope. Good. Two S's. Fuck. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. Well, here we go. There's gotta be an O. Yes. There's one O. No fuck. Another vowel. E. I'd like an E. Three. Aha, there four. Are four all together. All right. I'd like to buy another vowel. Blank. Respect your elders. Yep. No elders. One U. All the vowels are now gone. I'm gonna spin. Gotta be an end. What? Wow. Respect your Elmers? 
I didn't know Elmer Fudd needed to be respected like that. <laughs> One of your quacky is Elmer Fuck. Oh yeah. Why? Yes, there is a why. Six hundred dollars. T. One T. Where is it? T. T. Five hundred dollars. There is a T. Come on, five thousand. R done. You call five thousand dollars. R what done? Good. There are three R's here. Well, correction, we're gonna need fifty-five dollars to get the sixty-nine. Respect your elders. Hey, well done. <laughs> wow, well, that's a good time to land on five thousand dollars. And we just pulled that out of our ass, by the way. Two. Twenty-eight thousand six eighty. We'll need a fifty-five to get the sixty-nine. Wow. It's the and we'll see if we so which one, Eugene? H. Two. Yep, so two yes. again. H. The category of this puzzle Things. Is... Thing. Phrase. 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 R, S, T, L, N, and E are where you see them. Now please pick... You're your invited. ...and a vowel. Just, just married. married. Yep, just J-M-D. You. I'm in the puzzle, bitches. One, two, three. That's it. While we got. Tell them what they the yacht. That'll be the yacht. That'll be skydiving. Not again. Well, skydiving license, actually. Wow, what a rush. <laughs> That's for the 15. That some total player 43680. Hi folks, I'm Charlie O'Donnell. We'll get to our game in a second, but first we have a little business to take care of. Ah, uh, but now we now we are back on the streak. Again. Oh damn it. What? Okay, well good news is we just broke two and a quarter million. Well thank goodness. Two million two hundred and eighty eight thousand. Now the way I say damn it is it's four fourteen. Six more for four twenty. And that would, is not going to happen, I can tell you that much. Yeah, it, it would have been six more dollars we would have had the small cleave every day thing. We're going to need to find a total of $55, assuming we can find good prizes. Mm -hmm. Right. Again, it's two million two hundred eighty-eight thousand four fourteen. Oh my God! Hope you had fun. See you again. Bye bye. So next week. We're gonna be on. We're gonna be in game forty-eight, and we're just gonna be just two more games away to break in the all-time record. So, 
There you go. Coming up next. Of that, coming up next on SNR. I was gonna say coming up next off SNR, but that doesn't sound right. It's coming up next on SNR. Is the SNR Challenger High Stakes. Who am I going to be up against? Well, that is Rin. Ah, we get back. Welcome back to SNR right now. This is our second segment, which this is going to be episode 4 of the SNR Challenge at High Stakes. And I am, yet again, on a streak. Three, three game winning streak at that. Mm-hmm. With nearly a quarter of a million. Yeah, right now you're at 243,400. And I'm up against of another challenger. And this challenger is awaiting. So let's see if my streak goes on. Will it continue or will it end as we get ready for another exciting game of SNR Challenge with High Stakes? Namco edition for this episode. Now, all the questions here will be about the Namco game series. Oh, the company of Namco in general. So, hopefully, y'all have your smarts on uh, on how Namco works. We all know how the game works, of course. Let's see what the board looks like for the first round, shall we? All right. So first, we've got all about Pac-Man. We've got Namco Classics. We've got Namco Cross Nintendo, and finally, what game is this? Uh, I will give I will give you a thing. Uh, for what game is this? We will give you a screenshot of a specific Namco game. You have to uh, you have to identify the game for us. Okay, Ben, you are the champion, of course, so you get to start things off. Oops, I pooed. Uh, that's not one of the categories, by the way. I keep calling mockery. Um, what game is this is for four? All right, all right. Here's the first scream shot. Please tell me what game this is. Ben. Uh, I believe that's Galaga. Galaga is correct. Yes, sir. Where would you like to go now? Eight hundred. 800 for what game is this? Tell me what the game is here. And again. Tekken 3. Tekken 3, yes. You were very specific with it, and I would have... And, and specifics are very key here. 1,200. 1,200 in the same category. Alright, gentlemen. We're going into the heat already. work. Now, this is an interesting question. So, if y'all will give me your oh, wagers in the chat. How would Eugene bet if he got zero right now? If he has, uh, there will be, there's a special rule in play since Eugene has zero. That special rule here, uh, if he, if, since he has zero, Eugene can bet up to 500 points. Mm. Alright, I have both wagers. Okay, gentlemen. Here's your Into the Heat in what game this is. Please tell me the game seen here. Type in your answers in the chat. It's either King and Balloon, Rolling Thunder, Splatterhouse, or Tower of Druga. Time starts now. I have an answer. 
answer from Ven, and I have an answer from Eugene. All right, Ben, please tell me what you selected. Walling Thunder. Eugene, will you tell me the same thing? I have the same answer as Ben. Uh, rolling Thunder, Rolling Thunder. Well, this is kind of interesting. The correct answer is the Tower of Druga. Oh. So no points for either. Wait, did they lose points because of it? Yeah, they're, they're both they're both down, down at zero. zero. Oh wow. wow. Yeah, because in into the heat. Just, no yeah, because in into the heat, you yeah, in into the heat, y'all lose points. So, but since Eugene had no points, he doesn't lose any points. But since I bet it all, he's down to zero. But it is still Ben's control. Uh, let's finish this up. He's finishing. What game is this? All right, tell, tell me what game this is. Ben? Super Pac-Man? Very good. Oh, wow. So that takes care of one category. Where do we go now? Uh, and I'm calling Nintendo for three. Okay, Namco crossed Nintendo for three. Donkey Konga used what accessory on the GameCube? Ben. The Kongas. Be more specific? Uh, can you say that? Say it one more time just to make sure, please. The Kongas. Nah, I can't accept that, unfortunately. Uh, Eugene, you, ha you have a chance at this. Are stupid answers allowed? Yes, yes stupid yes, answers are allowed. Uh... Gorilla condoms. <laughs> that's pretty much a stupid answer. We were looking for the DK bongos. Oh, that's right. You said the congas? Oh, I said the congas. What the heck are congas? What are congas? I don't know. Uh, anyway, select again. <laughs> I forgot what they called now. <laughs> hey, Mahi for six and nine. I know, right? Select again, Ben. Namco and Nintendo for six. Alright, here's your question on this one. What Nintendo series did Namco make arcade versions of? Pardon me. <laughs> okay, here are your multiple choice answers here. Mario Kart, Luigi's Mansion, Cruisin', Mario and Sonic. Oops, you pooed. Um, Eugene? Uh, Mario Kart. That is correct. <laughs> wow. All right, yep, Mario Kart Arcade GP, 1, 2, and DX. Where do you want to go now, Eugene? Um, 900. 900, Namco Cross Nintendo. What Mario Sports title did Namco work on? Okay, here are your chances. Super Mario Strikers, Mario Sports Mix, Mario Superstar Baseball, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Eugene? Uh, Mario Sport Mix. No. Ben. You got a 33 and a third chance. Mario Superstar Baseball? It is Mario Superstar Baseball, yes. They also worked on the sequel to it as well, Mario Super Sluggers. Can 
Control goes over to you now. 1200. Alright, 1200. What was the first Super Smash Brothers game that Namco co developed on? Ben? Super Smash Brothers Melee. No. Eugene, you have a chance now. Fix that plumber's crack. <laughs> the Wii U version. It was the Wii U version, yep. I, I knew because the Pac-Man was on the Wii U. You had a 50 50 between that and you got the wrong one. Why did you think it was melee? Anyway, it's your selection again. Namco Classics for two. Namco for. Yep, Namco Classics for two. In Pac Man, what color is Blinky? Ben. Red? Blinky is red, yes. Alright, where to now? Oh, you food! <laughs> 400. 400 in Nanko Classics, you said? Yeah. Yes, he said. Alright, here we go. Question is, what was Namco's first racing game? Ben. Ben. Pole position. Yep, pole position is correct. Jesus Christ. The street onion chicken teriyaki it is hitting me right now. Ben, let's continue. 600. 600 in the same category. Here you go. Link was a guest star in what Namco fighting game series? Then. Soul Calibur? Yes, specifically the GameCube version of Soul Calibur 2. Uh, there you go. Eight. Eight hundred. Here you go. Where does Dig Dug 2 take place? Specifically Dig Dug 2. Eugene? Uh... Batten Sex Dungeon. <laughs> I wish, but no. Ben? I know it's in paradise. Well, we need for you to be a little bit specific. I know, that's what I'm trying to think of. Where? On an island? It is on an island, yes. Oh my god. That gives him a vertical bonus now. He's got a vertical bonus now. And now I'm, going, and now I'm going for the other bonus. Now we'll find out. All about Pac Man for one. All right. Pac Man was inspired by what food? Ben. Pizza? It is pizza, yes. And he gets the diagonal bonus now. That gives him an extra 4,000. That's a first for that. Yeah. First time on high stakes that we got a diagonal bonus. 200. Once 200. What game makes a cameo appearance in the original Pac Man game? Okay, here are your answers. Pole position, Galaxian, Moto's, Dig Dug. 
Ben. Galaxian? Galaxian, yes. It actually appears as what one the of the fuck? fruits in the game. Wow. Three hundred. Three hundred now. Okay. Nintendo Shigeru Miyamoto designed what Pac-Man game? Okay. Here come the answers. Pac-Man Arrangements. Pac-Man Championship Edition. Pac-Man Fever. Pac-Man Versus. Ben. Pac-Man arrangement. No. Fuck. Eugene, you have a chance now. Pac-Man versus. It is Pac-Man versus, yes. And that only leaves the four hundred dollar the four hundred point question, which is a blazing hot question. with the blazing hot question you get to answer it first and it's worth the double if you get this one right if it's wrong Ben gets a chance and he'll get a multiple choice so you ready yeah all right for a possible 800 here's your blazing hot what arcade company got busted by Namco after making unauthorized Pac-Man games? Uh... Santa Clara. Mm, no. Okay, Ben, here, here are the answers to go off of. Atari, Midway, Sega, Exidy. Say the Tengen, the Tengen person. You think Tengen? Yeah. It's not Tengen. It was Midway. Really? Because if you remember, Miss Pac-Man, Junior Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, Professor Pac-Man, and Baby Pac-Man were all made by Midway. That does it for the first round. With a couple of bonuses in play, with a diagonal and the vertical bonus. A couple of squares here and there. A lot. We've got a lot going on here. Ben, so far, I think you've got a commanding lead. Yeah, there is a little his history lesson. Uh, the reason why Midway, the thing here is, Midway actually got a license from Nam for Namco to distribute Pac-Man in the U.S., which is why the unauthorized Pac-Mans came to be, and that's how it, that's why Namco got angry with them. So, 
There's a little history lesson for y'all. Oh. That's, that's, that was basically why. Uh, after round one, Ben, you have 9,800 points. Eugene, you have 900. Of course, it's still anyone's game as we head over to round two of this Namco edition of Challenger. Categories here, J categories here, we've got Guess the Genre, Namco History, Namco Characters, and Tech and Trivia. Oh, come on. Eugene, you, you're in second place right now, you select the first one. To quote it, the late great Alex Trebek, Guess the Genre 2. Alright, what genre is Tekken? Then. Fighting. Yep. The genre for four. All right. Guess the genre. What genre is Rolling Thunder? Okay, the genres in question. We've got maze, racing, run and gun, adventure. Ben. Racing? No. Eugene, you have a shot. Um, run and gun? Run and gun, yes. Your selection now. Genre 600. Alright. What genre is mappy? Okay. We've got tank, platformer, action, sports. Ben. Platformer? Is a platformer, yes. Eight. All right, guess, guess the genre, genre for eight. eight. What, what genre, genre is Xevious? Ben. ben. Shooting? Can you be more specific, please? A shooter. Do we accept shooter? Yes, we do. It's a shooter. Shooter, shoot him up. Uh, Shooting, shoot him up. Shooter. Yep. Always want to make sure. Select again. Ah, Tekken Trivia 8. Alright, going all the way to Tekken Trivia now. Home ports of Tekken came out first on what console? Ben. PlayStation. Exactly. And I still have the first, second, and third on the PS1. Sixteen. Going sixteen. All right. Who owns the Nishima Zaibatsu? Ben. Hey, Chachi. It's kind of a mispronunciation, but I'll accept it. Yeah. Chachi is how you pronounce it. Select again. 24. It's going 24. Which Street Fighter character is a special guest in Tekken 7? Are you kidding me? Ben. Ryu? No, it is not Ryu. Oh my god. Eugene, you have a guess? Given the fact that I'm going to lose points if I'm wrong, I don't. Okay. No guess from Eugene. Okay, the correct answer was Akuma. I mean, if I didn't have to worry about losing points, I would have said something stupid like a naked leaf. <laughs> yeah, you can understand that. Uh, but Ben, I thought you were gonna get that. <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> Alright, where to now? 
32. All right. In what year did Tekken come out? Then? 1994? It's the same age as I am. You are correct. Oh my god. I had to toss up either 94 or 95. Uh, Namco characters for six. Namco characters for 600. Alright, Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde are what? Then. Ghosts. They are ghosts. Alright, select again. 1200. 1200 to Namco characters. In the Tower of Drugia, uh, Draga, Gil is seen wearing what color armor? Uh, all right, and here are the multiple choice answers for you guys. Blue, silver, gray, or yellow? And silver. It's not silver. Eugene, you have a guess. I have a shot here, so... One in three chance of getting it right. Um... Oh, God. Yellow? It is yellow, yes! Oh... Alright, now it is your selection. Ah, uh, 400. He's going 400 in Namco history. Pole position and what other Namco game have their own cartoon? Ben? Pac-Man. Pac-Man. I believe that gives him the horizontal bonus. So that's an extra two grand for him. Pardon me. Where to now, Ben? Oopsie oh, food. Thank you, Team Mockery. Uh, Namco Characters 18. Namco Characters 18. Into the heat. all know how this goes. Well, let me give you guys a score update so y'all know how much you can risk up to. Ben, you have 19,400. Eugene, you have 2,500. You can risk as little as 100 points, and you can risk, you can risk as little as 100 up to your max amount. One, I've got two. All right. Gentlemen, here is your Into the Heat in Namco characters. Who is the main character you play as in Splatterhouse? Your answers are Rick, Jennifer, Falcon, or Gil. Time starts now. Right, I have both answers in. All right, Ben, tell me who you said. Wick. And Eugene? Uh, Rick. It is Rick. Yes, you both are correct. Uh, Eugene had Eugene risked five hundred of his points. Ben only risked four hundred. The square belongs to Ben because he was the one who gave me the answer first. So control is over to Ben. 
Namco history for a Namco history for 800 is your solo in history. At this point is just your You'll need to give me your wager again. And the update. Well, you have 19,800, so... Risk as much as that, as little as... 100. It's going with that. Alright, you ready for this, Ben? Yeah. Here is your solo heat. When was Galaga first released in the arcades? Your answers are... 1991, 1981, 1971, or 2001. Your time starts now. Ben, would you like to tell me what you had said as your answer? 1981. I think this is a first that I've seen for Challenger. 1981 is the correct answer. Robo, he just doubled his score. He was very confident in his answer, and he doubled his score. But it's also... Another bonus. Another bonus. That's a diagonal bonus. That's another 8,000 points. Oh my. And I thought it was 4,000 for horizontal. Uh, or, uh, yeah, horizontal is 4,000. Vertical is 2,000. Okay. Namco characters for 24. Namco characters 24. Oh it's the blazing hot question. So you could have a possibility of getting 2400 tripled if you get this right. If not, Eugene gets the chance at. 2400 tripled, but with multiple choice answers. So, are you ready for the blazing hot question? Yeah. Alright. Er. Here's the question What animal does Heihachi have on the back of his gi? What animal? Yes, yes what, what animal? A dragon. It is not, not a dragon, dragon unfortunately. unfortunately. Eugene, the answers that we have selected for you. Let's show them. It's either a lion, a tiger, a dragon, or a snake. It's not a dragon, so it's either a lion, a tiger, or a snake. Is a tiger, yes. Oh, so 2400 tripled for Eugene in this case. You got 7200 out of that, which is pretty good. Who knows? All right, Eugene. 1200. Once 1200. Gentlemen, what does the M in Namco stand for? Ben? Machine. It is not machine. He 
you have an answer, Eugene? Ben's answer? Ben said machine. Manufacturing? It is manufacturing, yes! Oh my god. Yeah. Nakamura Manufacturing Company, that's what Namco stands for. Okay, the N-A, the M in the Yeah, the N-A and Nakamura, the M is manufacturing, and the C-O is company. Put those together, you get Namco. And now for the last question. For 1600 in Namco history. Namco merged with what toy company? Okay, here are your choices. Tomy, Hasbro, or Bandai? Ben. Bandai? Bandai Namco. Bandai, actually. Jesus. Yep, they merged together and now they merged together and they form Bandai Namco. I believe it was 2006. Namco was his own name until the partnering of partnership with Bandai Sinden. Uh, what is the total after round two? Remember, you, well, remember, y'all still have one more round to go. I know. And I think Ben lost some points for the wrong answers. He did. Some of the yeah for some of the wrong answers that he that he gave he did lose some points out of it. At the end of round at the end of round two, Eugene has eleven thousand four hundred. Ben, you still have a commanding lead with forty thousand eight hundred. Eleven. Oh jeez, that's my total from after the mystery round. <laughs> wow. And the game. Uh, but remember, but remember that anything can happen as we go to the final heat. Okay. So, yep, so anything can happen here. Eugene, there is still a chance that you could possibly come back if you get... Most likely if you get all five of them, you, there could be a chance for you to come back. But only time will tell. So are you two ready for your final heat? Yeah. Just remember to just remember to type in your answers in, in just remember to type in your answers in the answer chat. Okay? Right. All right. Gentlemen, let's begin the final heats with our first heat question with a thousand points. How many power pellets are in every level in Pac-Man? Alright, time is up. Uh, ben, please tell me your answer. Four. Eugene? Four? They both got it right. The answer is four. Alright, let's heat up a little bit. For 2,500 points. Which Marvel character shouted out, That man is playing Galaga! Time is up. Ben, please tell me your answer. I put Hulk. Eugene? 
Incredible Hulk? Unfortunately, it was Iron Man. Oh. Alright, let's heat up a little bit more. For 3,000, The Witcher's Geralt is a special guest character in what Soul Calibur game? Okay, I have both answers in. Ben, what did you say? I said Soul Calibur V or Soul Calibur V. Eugene, what about you? Soul Calibur V? Y'all are y'all were off by one. It was Soul Calibur Six. Uh. Soul Calibur V's guest character was Ezio from Assassin's Creed. Alright. We're heating up a little bit more, gentlemen. For 5,000 this time, the Namco Museum series of compilations started out on what console? Hi. Come on, Pebbles. Time is up. Ben, what was your answer? PlayStation 1. Eugene? PlayStation 1. Of course it's the PlayStation 1. The N, the N, the M, the C, the O. So dumb. Alright. The final question. This will double your score if you get this one right. Here's the question. Along with Midway, what other arcade company published at Namco Games here in the United States. Time is up. Okay. Ben, what was your answer? Tension. Eugene? Tengen? I, th I think we can accept oh. it. We I don't yeah, know if it's... Um, yeah, I believe it's... Yeah, but although the correct answer is Atari, do we, ex do we accept Tengen as part of it? I just want to get a confirmation before we get this all situated. I'm going to assume no. Tengen actually, uh, Tengen did publish some Namco games for the consoles, which was part of a card. Oh my god. Tengen will be included as an acceptable answer. Oh. So, both scores are doubled. Wait, what did Yuji also say? Just be sure. Huh? What did Yuji wrote? Namco had a stake in Atari games and owned Atari Japan. Tengen did publish some Namco games for the consoles, and it was part of Atari when it was still a thing. You can yeah. you can see that by just checking the game his, gaming historian. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. But that no does it for. Kuzo. Yeah, that does it for the end of the Namco Challenge. Let's see what our final scores are. So we can figure out how both of y'all did. I didn't stand a chance. But you put up one hell of a fight. Yeah. Might as well. 
Let's see the score. Is it yeah, the we just need, We just need to see the scores. I have an idea. 93,600. Ben continues his streak. Eugene put up a hell of a fight, but he comes away with 34,800. So, in addition to what we have, it's... In addition to the 243-400 that he already has... Yes? That puts his... That puts his four game total at an even 337,000 points. And of course, you get to come back for episode 5. Which, for episode 5, we've got something special planned for that. Y'all want to make sure to stay tuned for that when that comes. So until we see Ben again with a new challenger in high stakes, Ben, give us an outro to go on to our next segment, please. On the next will be the final segment. Mm -hmm. We'll be playing Clue. Yeah. Steam PC. So stay tuned for that. And it's going to be why after this. I've got my loot. I'm happy. And welcome back to Astronaut White. Now this is the finale in which we are going to play Clue. 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 Oh, chill! Hey. Oh, and I stock too, by the way. Oh, go for it. Game? Start in here. Ow. Let's go plump with the bang bang and the library. There you go. Nope. Eugene's got something. And Jay has something for me. That should help. Alrighty. I corrected myself, bro.
should go here. Cars. Damn. Eugene has something. Speaking of Eugene, and to the billiard room. I want to shoot pools. Jerry has something. There you go. I carry them. Uh-oh. We're not gonna have enough time. We'll try- we'll try to get it in, so... Don't worry. I'll only be able to just to do the one, so just don't worry for now. All right, what do you have? Hmm, I wonder. Here you go. Let's just cut time in half. You think One. you know it? Ben. I think he's trying to save us some time, but he could be wrong. He I thinks he knows it already? Ben. Well, I can tell you you're wrong already. I'm wrong. I think us. I knew he was wrong on the location. Mm. 
Now, for the folks at home, you see the answer. I think you James saw it. Actually, I don't. Oh. All right, so it's my turn now. Let's go here. Have some idea? But I still don't know. Help somewhat. Okay. I have some sort of idea, but It did a little bit. All right, so let's see. Where to next? I, I think we should go here. What do you have that can help? Okay. Maybe they're saucy. 
that can help that helps somewhat. I wonder. Well, I have a sneaking suspicion. I think he's got it. That's the answer. Yep. Oops, you pooed. Thank you, Team Mockley. It was Professor Plum with the candlestick in the library. And I am the Clue Master. One, two, One, three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. So, the re- So, in terms of in terms of uh, for for you, Ben, uh, you, uh, I knew for a fact that yours wasn't right because I had both the lead pipe and the billiard room. Who had white, by the way? I had white. I had none of the suspects. Oh my god. I had I had white and brunette as suspects, and I also had the lead. I had the lead pipe and the wrench, and I also had the ballroom and the billiard room. It is, please, ben has so that rest. means Eugene had the hall. The hall, the kitchen, yeah. and I believe the dining room. Everything, everything fell filled out. And now it's time for me to go. Uh, Hi, Jay. Good night. I will see you tomorrow's hopefully, but who knows. Okay. Bye. Okay. You still interested? Yeah. You go. There we go. But since this is a appropriate time for some of and all, we're gonna go with Tropical Mystery. We're also getting, um... Our friend Tien here. Yeah. No harm, no foul? No harm, no foul. We'll wait. Of course. Patience is a virtue, friends. Uh... Tomorrow night, yeah. Uh... 
tomorrow night stream, of course. Um, I was going to go with the 3 p.m. stream, but I do forget that I had a, um, a birthday to attend tomorrow. So, my 3 p.m. stream is going to be until next week. But, however, tomorrow night, still at 6, we are going to do our regular Fall Guy Squad Sunday. And then on Monday stream, if I could get off work early, because I'm not staying that late on Monday. If on Monday stream I finish early, and hopefully I do, uh, 6 or 6.30 if not, 7 or 8, all depends. We're going to do another Fall Guy stream. And that Tuesday, when I get back from appointment, I will be joining on for the Season 5 premiere stream of Fall Guys. So I will be streaming on those three days. Tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday. All on Twitch. So I will be streaming on those three days. Ugh. Monday stream time, like I said, will be 6, 6.30. If not, it will be like 7.08. Oh, All depends. That's Monday stream. Tuesday stream will be at, of course, when I get back from, you know where, but, but not you know where because I do got an appointment to go to. And then on... Wednesday, and then, no, it's not Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday will be the third day stream, so I will be doing my three day stream on sad on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, not Saturday, it will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday stream, wow. But I will... But I will give you more details of what's going on. On those days... On... My... Twitter. I will post the times up. So, I will give you more information. As time goes by. Um. I'm still waiting. Um, anything else? Because I'm trying to stretch some more. <laughs> oh, Fair Night. Fair Night, of course, will be the, what did I say again? 11th? 11th through the 14th. So... 
Okay, so Wednesday we're gonna be starting. I think Thursday we're gonna start shooting the episode early. For us and all, so I could get two segments going. One and then segment one and then our uh if the challenge if high stakes still goes on we're gonna use that for the second segment. And I think we're gonna do it on a Thursday. So I do wanna head back to the fair on a Saturday night. But I think the Saturday before fair night is the parade is back on, so we're gonna be watching the parade before us and our. Happy early Anything else? She's coming! Okay. Uh, I, got, I, I literally noted. We got room for you. You want one. I apologize if we nag you. We're just, wait we're just waiting for our, our friend. Yeah, we're off. waiting. So we, we've That's been trying to stretch. There we okay. go, she's, she's in. in. She said she's way on her phone. Just to let you know. Alright. Uh, Wubble? Wanna... I don't think he can because of the software problem. Yeah, because oh, he, yeah. I think he said he ran out of space. Yep. Oh, yeah. So... Now I can finally pick someone else other than Miss Orchid. Hey, Don. You mean doctor. Doctor. Doctor, professor. Doctor. Well, Hi, jeez. No okay, problem, Mr. Professor. Doctor. Orchid is the doctor. Okay. There we go. Okay. So she is playing with us, by the way. I was we got worried, Erica I was worried playing with us. Say, um, what was it? Um, uh, a nurse breath. Yeah. There we go. I am going to pick. Rusty. Okay. The room is. Topical mystery. And again, how appropriate for summer. Is it? Summertime? Yeah. Oh no. Summertime? Sorry. <laughs> and again, the theme is summer. Oh, this is gonna we be a cruise. fun. <laughs> and Echo's starting too, by the way. And our friend Air goes first. Double. And she's on. She chose bridge. Captain's log.
Imagine it more. Huh. Interesting. I was gonna say, any more you want me to stretch out? <laughs> uh. Oh, goodness. <coughs> to the chopper's landing. To the helipad. That's a nickname for that was another term for ch uh helicopter. Chopper's lid. Well, here's your clue. An oopsie food. I call him off. Must do with a flare gun. Hey, you sit here? Okay, well, I'm gonna say she's not in our server, but she is with us playing. Yes. So if they want to mention that one for the folks at home. We'll yeah, just to, just, just to give you a clears up. Yeah. She's playing with the phone. She's playing on the phone. Not on the... Well, yeah. <gasps> Did she just... <laughs> Did she just... I gave it away. You just gave it back to the game. Uh, 
happens. Did she know? Did I just give it away? No. Ooh. Did I just give? Okay, I jumped too soon. I jumped too soon. I had a feeling you were bluffing on one thing. Oh. I'll tell you that after the game. That's hilarious. Almost deliberate, too. Yeah. I think. Unfortunately, that's not the room that I wanted to. I think I do have a hunch. What do you think it was? Erica could be bluffing, Bob. G has a good point. Do you think is that it? <gasps> or you fell for it? Cock and a harpoon in a dining room. Unfortunately, you are out. I know where it's run now. Don't I'm, say it. Yeah. Don't say it. I won't. Because I was close. Don't say it. Got something. Okay, but it also does give me time just to clean up a bit. So that, no, that's true. I knew you were gonna block me, but I don't know it. Oh.
thing is, I already know two, but. Well, let's see what you come up with. Is it this? The peacock, the harpoon in the bedroom? I hate to say. The bedroom is That a is guess. correct. Here's the thing the bedroom's my guess, but I already knew the first two upon my first turn. I knew. I knew the first two. But then, when my rolls come out, it turns out shit. GG's. Yeah, GG's. You know what? My turn back. Aw, oh, there. GG's. And you know what? I had the dining room in the bedroom as my pure guess. And I went 50 50 on it too. And and I went with the one guess. Yes, you know what's you know what's the thing? And I still my, went with the bedroom. Yeah, had it been my turn, it had a higher roll than the three. My next guess would have been the dining room. And that's where you took your took, guess. Took, took. I really gotta know how you're guessing the dining room. Well, who do you think had the dining room? Um, okay, I'm guessing. Either, if I had to guess, it's either, I'm pretty sure it's either you or Air has it. Apparently Ben thinks I have boobs and data J. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had it. <laughs> um, um, okay, uh, I'm trying to pick a room, by the way. One more ring? One more game? Um... Um... Uh, no, she's got... BBD. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, just no worries. One more. I'm trying to think of a room. Okay. But actually, what do you guys like? Up to you, because it doesn't matter. Okay. The code. The basic. The basic. Come oh. on, ke keyboard. But yeah, we're gonna just round it off with the basic, and then the episode will be completed. When I guessed the dining room, I thought it was either that or the bedroom. That was my 50-50 guess. My pure 50-50 guess was between that in the bedroom. Yeah, a couple of rooms are kind of forced me to take the take those as they so yeah, that happened. Oh okay she's back. Oh, I guess she's back. Okay, one more. Where? Ugh But that 50 50 guess, I went wrong instead of the other way. But if I would have went with the bedroom, that would have been yeah. done so fast. Yeah, I have it between the bridge, uh, the bedroom, and the hot tub. I, the other, yeah, the other room I went blank is the hot tub. So. Ugh. Yeah. That's just a bold guess. And I was start with Eugene. Last round for all the marbles. Well, not exactly the marbles. Last game for the... not sure. 
Yeah, you should have typed it earlier, Ben. We don't want to confuse our... Our friend here. Uh, yeah. If we have to do another one, that's fine. It's... It's so many now with that. Sounds fine, right? Yeah, but that's why it's like, oh no. Oh, okay. But that's why I went with that guess. It's like. I thought I could pull off. Oh no! Oops, I pooed. Ooh. Thank you, Ben Mockery. Okay, there we go. Uh, want me this? And oops, I pooed. Ow, Jerrica. Thank you, Ben Mock. Oh my god, what's up with the little dices? I got the place I wanted to go to.
Ben. You're dead. Yeah, we we made sure for viewing this because you said um something came up.
Oops, I pooed. Thank you, Colin Mockery. Oh, wait, wait. Um, yes. Anything else you want me to stretch? I think I got nothing. Crap. It'll be 52 years since the moon landing. You mistook me for Erica. Hi, Keg. Um, oh my God. Hi, Pebbles. <laughs> Hi. Come on, Bam Bam. <coughs> Not Bam Bam. Come on, Pebbles. <laughs> bam Bam. Pebbles, not Bam Bam, really. Open music. Hi. There we go. Okay, she's back. Nah, uh, calling the one. Yeah, calling the one cat Bam Bam, really. You're not Bam Bam, huh? And even worse, you call her nipples. No, I didn't call Pebbles nipples. I mean, that you did. <laughs> no, I did. Bam, 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 bam. Just, just no. Oh, I know. Just sorry, nipples. I mean, sorry, Bam. <laughs> <laughs>
I hope I'm right. And I think I will be right. One. Are you? Two. <clears throat> that. Come on. Is it that? The that? And the that? Yes! My hunch, I wasn't too sure about the suspect and weapon. I knew the suspect and the weapon. I knew the two. And it had to be it. But the room, I had to make sure. The room, I had to make sure. Because you know why? I knew it was Peach. No, we knew. We knew no, it was Peach we, all along. No, I knew it was the Peach and the rope. Yeah, so did I. I knew it was the two. After I picked I the Peach, the rope, three, and yeah. the hole. And I knew <clears throat> I was right in the area. Well, if I would have went I, with Peach, rope, <clears throat> library, that would have been done. So I'm so assuming, Ben, you had the conservatory, right? Yeah, I I had the conservatory. And I also had Erica too, by the way. Which is Scarlet. Yeah, which is Scarlet. So I I had to keep thinking of the room. And I had it down between the study and the library. And I had to go to the kitchen to make sure if it was the kitchen, <clears throat> then my guess would have been wrong. But then, you know, then my original guess was Peach Wope Kitchen was my original guess. And you went to the kitchen just to prove that Just to prove not. that it was in the spot. So I knew it had to be the library. All along. Smart move. Bada bing, bada boom. Smart move. But the what? thing is... But the thing is... As we went through the rooms, as Erica was needed by her sister, I had two, three thoughts about the library. Was it right? Was it wrong? So I knew I kept my thought to myself, like, I think it had to be the library somehow. It had to be it. Congratulations, I guess. And again, it went to a 50-50 guess between the library and the study. And I went with the right one this time. Yeah, because you, you thought uh, you, got, you thought the study was the answer. You would have been wrong. I also would have been wrong with the study. I got the study group. Because, uh, yeah, I knew you, I knew one of you guys had the study. Based on realistic. Nope. Not me. Crack, yep, Cracky had a study. Yeah, because I think Eugene was the one who went to the study room. Yep. If I remember correctly. Yeah. And I knew it can't be it, too, so... A library, it had to be... My second... My second thought was also, again, my first choice as a 50-50. Well... And luckily, I went with the right dire uh, direction. Well, I think that was the last game, so... Yeah. Because... I hate to tell you this, but... We're done. 
That's the end of the night episode of SNR. And as like I said before, I wish it would have been longer, but... Look at the time. Oh, but really? <sighs> it's exactly... Time crunch. Anyways, so two rooms. I knew, I knew again the 50 50. Library or the study? And I went with the right choice this time. I knew I had that hunch. I knew I had a hunch about the library somehow, was being that spot. And again, folks, go with your gut instinct and follow it. Nine times, again, nine times out of ten, pay off. <sighs> okay, it paid off in the right way this time, so. <laughs> There's that. Um, I think that's it. So we hope you guys have fun on us now. And so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Help support the episode, so help support the channel, it'll be awesome. As always here, I'd like to thank the guys on Discord for being part of 9541 and Fast 9, helping out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, yawning's contagious too, but <laughs> cause you and I is both yawning. Um, no, I was gonna say thank you guys, thank you all for watching. Don't forget here is like, comment, favorite, sub, sub to the guys on Discord as well. Love and love support as always. Really does help help out with the love and the support. I uh, of course, as always, do follow us on social media. So don't forget to follow this channel's Twitter page as I post the Arsenal episodes, notifications, any news, and on Twitch tomorrow. It will be a three day Fall Guys stream. Tomorrow at 6 with our squad. The Monday's season 4 finale stream of Fall Guys. How many more crowns can we grab before season 5? And then Tuesday will be the season 5 Fall Guys stream. So we'll be streaming as long on Tuesday but hopefully not too long because I need also need to double check of what time I'll be working on Wednesday because uh, I know <sighs> excuse me as I know I will be busy at work so If you, um, if you have, um, if you haven't seen up what's going on, don't worry, I'll be fine. Um, we're getting back on track with work. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. But now we need to improve the time on 
drive through, and I'll be. Then we'll be back on track for a bit. And that's what we're trying to get to right now. And hopefully, we're gonna get some more coming into night shift too, because. It's needed badly, and that's why I hopefully need to get off a lot earlier. So that's always that. Um, what else? Oh, if you like this or any other episodes of As Not, the playlist will be on my channel. It'll go right into Season 11's play playlist. Don't forget here, subscribe, and if you do subscribe, all oh, uh, please don't forget to ring the bell to enable all notifications. And if you're on your smartphone, go to the notification um, part of your um, settings and make sure it's turned on to all or some moderate so you won't miss an upload. And, and also, if you want to check out on my um, YouTube page, and if you want the past previous episodes of Fast Now, the playlist will also be on my channel. So please check, please, please, please check those ones out. Because see on Fast Now, we always play for retro. To modern and anything else in between will all will be on this channel devoted to retro and modern gamers alike These guys, Venice over 1287, get vaccinated, stay safe, stay awesome, love you lots. Have a real, have a real great rest of the weekend, and I'll see you all for tomorrow's six. And I will have to get into the 6 p.m. stream. 6 p.m. Fall Guys Squaw Stream. And again, I will be streaming in three days. So please check me out on Twitch. And also, if you're on my Twitch channel, don't forget, click the heart to follow me on Twitch. And I will see what I can do. Of Updating on my channel. Right. For these guys. This guy right here. Have a real great night. And we'll see you tomorrow night.